This is not a TDX hate video. This video is just meant to give constructive criticism to the TDX team because I believe in them and I feel bad for how this chapter ended up concluding the entire event. John himself even felt that this chapter just did not release right and there's sympathy to be had here. So let's dive into why chapter 4 was underwhelming compared to the hype revolving around it and what we can do next time to make this better. So let's start from the moment you load into chapter 4. You're greeted with a defend the center map and well that probably was the first problem. Don't get me wrong, defend the center maps can be awesome like the duck hunt in TDS was but most of the time has seen through tower defense simulator and kind of this it usually just doesn't end up working. They did get it to work super well in chapter 3 but that felt for some reason different. The way that it wasn't a complete 360 defense but you still had enemies coming from many areas felt very fun to play with, kind of reminding me of Plants vs Zombies. Could you imagine playing Plants vs Zombies with 4 or 8 different lawns? I think that kind of analogy gives a perspective on why Defend the Centers just don't feel fun to play. Let's also take a look at the base here. We have these turrets on the base that lead you into thinking they're gonna do something like how the artillery did in chapter 3, but as you play through the chapter you realize they do nothing. Which let's take a step back here, before you even load into the chapter, and look at a huge factor that played into what made this event feel underwhelming. The fact that this was kind of overhyped. Like how the turrets on this base make you think they're gonna do something, but then they don't, that's how this release felt. The villain takes off his mask, he blabbers something about claiming your place, cutscenes are foreshadowed, insane boss gimmicks are hyped, but then the wretch doesn't really have an insane third phase, there wasn't a cutscene, and bosses kind of just walk around the base until you kill them. Which brings to the next issue, the boss fights. The thing that's most hype about this chapter. Corrupted Apex Predator was the more fun of the two, and there wasn't really any issues with him, like John said, because he was balanced more, I do agree. But there is one critique I have to give, and this might just be me personally, but the boss fight felt really long. Like an endless mode, void Apex Predator type of boss fight. He just has so much HP, and you just have to wait to kill him while he's walking around the base. I do admit though, when I played this we were using mostly XWM's as defense, which does usually make boss fights feel this way, so maybe I didn't play this boss the right way. XWM kind of just makes boss fights boring, I do admit that. So maybe this claim was invalid, but you guys let me know. Again though, Corrupted Apex Predator, they did him pretty solid, you know. But anyways, then we look at the Wretched, and he doesn't do too much. He has the unique mechanic of hopping around and digging around everywhere which was really cool but he's not shooting at the base to threaten you, he's not really killing much towers from what I saw, his mask never pops open for a third more intense phase, there's no dangerous summons and he definitely felt a lot easier than Apex Predator who could just minigun your base to shreds if you aren't careful. I don't have much to say to help him though, as this seemed to just be a time limit issue. They already had delayed the update further than expected and they couldn't fit in what they wanted to for this boss. If they were able to fit in what they wanted, I'm sure it would have been a lot more grand. Though, something I could add is the lack of normal enemies alongside the boss. In TDX, normal enemies being added alongside the boss itself makes them feel much more chaotic. We see this in expert mode with all of the spam just pushing ahead while Eradicator Mark 2 wipes all of your stuff. We see it in endless mode when Calamity just floods the map with demons. In chapter 3 when along with Corrupted Eradicator Mark II, tanks and wendigos help push the line to your base. They're an essential part to spicing up boss fights and this is something that both Corrupted Apex Predator- no wait sorry I read the script wrong. This is something that Corrupted Apex Predator did do to help his case. He was summoning seraphs and predators and that's why he just felt more fun to fight but the wretched just didn't spawn too much stuff, it wasn't able to do this. To be fair though, we are lucky they decided to delay the event for us guys. Being fair again, the fourth chapter wasn't bad, it just felt underwhelming for what they were hyping up. I mean just imagine how this event would have felt if they released it on Halloween day instead of delaying it like intended. I am scared for how that could have turned out you guys, I am glad they delayed the event. Chapter 4 could have gone from decent to bad or horrible real fast, so I am thankful they did delay it. I thank you TDX team for that. And hey, chapter 1, 2, and 3 were still extremely good, so just remember the positives you guys. But 
while keeping those in mind, let's conclude this video with just one more thing, okay? They need to add special rewards for beating Nightmare Mode again. They need to. Their first event, the Christmas event, at least had a Christmas artillery skin that you can equip to show your achievement that you beat Nightmare Mode, and it was a reward for you. It was in a- it was in a- Hold on, I'm starving a lot. It was a reward for you. But the Tower Battles event had nothing like this. And so did this event, because they locked everything behind the Battle Pass. In my opinion, they should put the skins in the Battle Pass, some of the towers in the Battle Pass, but then, the most grand tower of them all, like the Zed or the Relic, should be unlocked through beating Nightmare Mode of the Final Night. Unlocking everything through just grinding leaves no incentive at all to beat Chapter 4 or Nightmare Mode. Grinding Chapter 3 is all you have to do, unless you're a completionist and want badges to complete the event. To complete the event. Oh my god, I'm stuttering so much. Like, grinding Chapter 3 is all you have to do. It also drains a sense of hype and importance to beating the hardest, most difficult, most challenging part of the event. They need to add a reward for beating the final chapter, the final most difficult thing. Oh, and one more suggestion I have. It would be really cool if Dr. Xenon had showed up. Okay, no, not in that way. Genuine suggestion. It would be really cool if Dr. Xenon had showed up, angry about them using her tech, and sent out an Eradicator Mark IV or IC, or an Apex Predator from our side to take down the bosses. And it would be even cooler if they could somehow code this Apex Predator to be a kind of rogue enemy. Like, it would attack its initial enemy at first, you know, like the corrupted Apex Predator, but Dr. Xenon isn't just gonna let us go scot-free either. Like, the Apex Predator starts attacking our troops after too. Like, it kills this guy, and then she's like, oh, these guys are here too, let me just kill them as well. Like, she's just there to kill everyone. That would be genuinely such a cool mechanic. But, if you remember anything from this video, guys, just remember this. Do not send hate to the TDX developers. Give constructive criticism. Don't let Chapter 4 ruin the entire event either, because the rest of the event was still done nicely. If I had to give an overall review of this event in its entirety, this was definitely an 8.5 out of 10 event. Chapter 1, 2, and 3, even in their incomplete forms, were even then very enjoyable. Maybe not so much Chapter 1, but it's Chapter 1, we can cut it some slack. Chapter 4 was a bit less fun, but we've already went over why, so there's that. The main thing, to me, to be honest, is the battle pass system. It just doesn't let you get rewards from just triumphing the mode. You have to grind and grind and grind to get the rewards. That is the one thing that I think they should fix for events moving on forward. And the towers were pretty cool too. Especially with that relic rework hopefully coming soon. So, good luck completing the event you guys. But peace out. Have a good day.